Hi everybody, Grandma Bev here with Life with Grandma Bev. And being Lucy seems to be in such a good mood today, I thought we'd go ahead and do her catnip box. So here it is. I'll show you this part before I give her the box to open. It's a thank you card. And on the back, of course, it says what's, what's in here and the prices and that kind of stuff. So here's the box. I sliced it open and that's how it looks when I get to it. So let me turn this off and be right back with you when I give the box to Lulu. This is so cute. She's just been sitting here waiting while I get cut the things off their little cardboard things. I like to remove all the little uh, little plastic thingies that they connect everything to because I don't want her so on. So let's put this down. Here you go, Lou. What's in there, hon? Move my thing out of here. Oh, there she goes. Ooh, what's in there, Lou? Tell you, she has been pestering me to do this box. It's been here about a week. Wow, Lou. What's that in there? What's that in there? He wants to flap. Let's flap the flap over. Flip, flip the flap. There you go. Now you can see over near her some of the old toys. This thing is so old, this old banana one, and she still loves it. You can tell she's played the heck out of it. Oh, ooh. Come on, let's start getting the toys out so we can... Oh, she jumped when I laughed. We can read what they're about. One thing that's in here is a review us. Post us, tag us. If you create a video, simply kind-hearted. Oh, look at that. See what she do? She went back over, honey. Oh, you're right there to the her old banana. Anyway, this is for uh, cat treats and stuff like that. Which uh, she doesn't get cat treats because Lou has a kidney problem and her high blood pressure because of the kidney problem. <laughs> But she's doing well since we um, got her on her medication for the blood pressure. She's been really a lot more active and happy, it seems. Every time I move, when you see her jump like it's because I moved. <laughs> you want some help? Here. Yeah, let's open that up. Let's go like this. Ooh. you got in there? And now I think I've, I've mentioned in all the other videos that uh, they can also get a snack, uh, but we can opt out of that, which we did, because like I say, we don't give her anything but her prescription food. No. Pull it, pull it out, honey. Pull it out and show everybody. You know, this, this helps uh, develop their hand-eye coordination or the paw-eye coordination. Getting it picked up and out of the box. Now she's, all, she's working on some. I can't tell which one she's working on. Lou, face the camera, hon. Face your fans. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I know what it is. <laughs> the one thing that she shouldn't be chewing on is what she's chewing on. Same reason why I can't have a plant or even that fake plant that I had in the other room that she kept eating. Lou, let's, uh, let's pull that out so they can see what it is. See, it's, <laughs> she looks. <laughs> and of course she likes those little strings of stuff. So that one's called, let's see what it says on the, the card. Is that a stingray? I guess that maybe that's a stingray. Starfish. That's what I thought it was too, but I don't, oh, I see the stingray must be that other thing. Okay, the starfish is the leap, denim, and corn husk starfish. So that corn husk is what she's chewing on. The newest trend in feline play, this all catnip starfish is made from super fun textured denim 
which provides a rewarding tactile feel for indoor cats with no actual prey. Detailed printing and filled with only grade A USA grown catnip, this sea creature will vent hours of pent up energy. Oh, it is edible, okay. Now I won't cut it off. Edible corn husk dangles help to chase away boredom for added excitement. And that retails for $5. Well, we going to try something else, Lou? Let me see what else is in there. <laughs> My finger's itchy. She probably got it when she was swatting at me with one of her nails. Here, let's pull it out uh, up here closer to Mama. <laughs> here. <laughs> well, I can tell you one thing. This is a big hit. No, oh, look at her looking at it. You throw it. Woo! <laughs> okay, next. Come on, show us what's next. What? This is what? Where'd it go? What are you eating, Dad? Daddy eating lunch? <laughs> What'd you go? Oh. <laughs> she walked away over there. What is that? Look, that looks. Is it the whale? Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, it didn't stay by that long, but it says, all for paws, plush whale. Your purr pal is going on a whale-watching adventure with this adorable, there she's back, the old little <laughs> toss toy, perfectly sized for little paws. This crinkly plush is <laughs> dual textured with embroidered eyes and closed with a double kick of both Canadian catnip and Silver vine retails for five dollars. Now she's got the one that I thought she'd really like. I think that one's the stingray. Pull it out, pull the stingray out, honey, so they can see the colors. Oh, there she goes back to this one. Here, let's get the stingray. Oh, look at the stingray. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? My favorite colors. In the stingray, it says super crinkly and filled with nothing but the finest Californian catnip. This fuzzy, funky stingray will have your kitty really feeling that deep sea vibe. Watch in awe as they toss, lick, and even bunny kick this adorably detailed and perfectly textured toy. Retails for six. Well, yeah, Lou's just going crazy over it. <laughs> She's back at the starfish with the corn husk on it. Lou, Lou, Lou. I like these crinkly things. Look at this. She's not paying attention. No attention. Lou. I can feel the cat has been there kind of poking food. Lou. Oh. What the world? What in the world? No. Okay, I'm going to help her finish this box. The last thing in here is always a, uh, what do you call it, proactive one that we get to play with her with. <laughs> you know, this is to help them exercise their neck, too. So this is the R Squad Pet Toys Wild Fish Wand. Your fuzzy buddies hooked a big one. <laughs> this interactive wand toy is really the cat's meow. It's so alluring, lifelike, 5.5 inch fish ready to swim and bob for your fur baby's amusement, complete with internal safety bell. Your cat will fall for this toy hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> Just watching it. <laughs> so what'd you think, Lou? That's everything. There she goes. In about mm, 15, 20 minutes, she'll probably just be laying here. In fact, I'll put the box back out. She's able to lay in it. And she'll just be uh, a little bit stoned out of her head. <laughs> Is that fun, Lou? 
Yeah, back to the corn husk. So we can see what the big hit is. Kit Knit Box Company, they love, at least Lou does, the uh, corn husk things. And if they're safe to eat, I'll let her chew on them. Otherwise, like I say, if I hadn't read that, I would have cut it off. I'd do the same, I'd do that with the feathers because I don't like her getting the feathers. Oh, you know, there is one more toy. I think this was an extra toy because I'm not getting the, um, the treat. So here's like a little uh, octopus. Here you Lou, there's an octopus. Look. Not gonna get her away from that corn husk. <laughs> but she's sitting on the stingray. Okay guys, so uh, I think I'll wrap this up. Hope you enjoyed this month's adventures of the catnip box with Lucy. And, uh, you know, between now and the time I post this, if she starts doing something really silly after getting high on all this, I'll, I'll add a few pictures at the end. So, do the usual. Like, comment, share, subscribe. <laughs> and I, I hope you're all having a happy day. We sure are. I love you all. Bye.